Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Deathboy, and today I want to make a guide for the Abyss Dungeon Kaigo and Lost Art. This video will cover normal and hard mode. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would help me out a lot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This will be a three part video series with this video covering Gate 1. Kaigo Normal Mode can be entered at item level 1540. Hard mode can be entered at 1580. This Abyss Dungeon is required for getting your level 3 set bonus. Before you enter Gate 1, you want to bring the correct battle items. You will bring the following. Dark Grenade, Time Stop, and Sacred Charm. Dark Grenade should be thrown on the boss to allow your entire party to deal additional damage. Time Stop would be used in scenarios where you feel like you may get knocked off the map or take lethal damage. Sacred Charm would be used to free a member during the fight or during the major mechanic. If you feel like you do not need Time Stop, you could bring Atropine instead to deal additional damage. The September 2023 patch brought about two changes to Kyangle. Old Gate 1 was removed. This used to be Gate 2, but is now Gate 1. In hard mode, this boss deals less damage. As I do with my other guide videos, I will go over the major mechanics first, then dive into some notable attack patterns. The first major mechanic happens at 55 HP lines or below. You will see yellow telegraphs at all edges of the map. The boss will remove these edges of the map. Move away to avoid falling to your death. Your camera will zoom out and the boss will be in the middle floating in the air. Afterwards, the boss will go to the bottom of the map. You can go to the bottom of the map and do damage for a short second, but then must move away to avoid lethal damage. This is not required. There will be a yellow line telegraph at the bottom. The goal is to not touch that yellow line, otherwise you may die. The boss will continue to pull you in, so you need to stay on the move while dodging electric circles that come from the top of the map. If you get hit by these electric circles, you will be electrocuted for a brief moment and take damage. You can space bar through the lightning to avoid being caught, but you will still take damage. In addition, everyone will have a blue circle under their feet. This will help you with visibility. A random player will get a red target above their head. This means that the boss is going to throw a projectile at you momentarily. If it does hit you, you will take a lot of damage and you may get knocked off and die. Once you see the red target go away, Use your space bar to avoid damage and to avoid getting knocked off. If you see a member that is caught by the lightning, you can use Sacred Charm to free them. In hard mode, you will also see white circles that start at the top left, then go down to the right side, then to the left side, then to the right, etc. Think of this as a zigzag pattern. You can space bar through the white circles as well. Getting caught by the white circles will also electrocute you. At the start of the fight, up until 55 HP lines, random members will have an icon above their head. This indicates that in a moment, a yellow circle will drop beneath that player. This player should go to the edge of the map, preferably near the boss. Standing in the yellow circle before the 55 HP line mechanic will give you a damage buff. When the 55 HP line mechanic occurs, those edges of the map will be destroyed along with the yellow circles that were there previously. After the 55 HP line mechanic, you still need to bring these yellow circles to the edge, but standing in them will cause you to be electrocuted for a few seconds. Members can use Sacred Charm to free you. If any yellow circle is in the middle or is not destroyed when the 55 HP line mechanic occurs, that yellow circle will be problematic. TLDR, bring the yellow circles to the edge if you have an icon above your head. The middle of the map should be clean. In hard mode, after 33 HP lines, the yellow circles will be different. You still need to bring them to the edge, but when it drops on the ground, it will spawn a large blue telegraph that you should avoid. If you get caught by the blue telegraph, you will be electrocuted for a few seconds. Leap attack. The boss will stand still for a quick moment, flashing a white aura in front of him. He will then jump back, target a random player, and throw his sword at that player. The boss will do this three times in total. He will then attempt to leap towards that player. When the boss lands, a large outside AoE will occur that will pulse two times. This attack is dangerous because it has a high chance to knock you off the map depending on where you are standing. Pay attention to the boss and quickly move in towards the boss after he lands to avoid getting knocked back. Clone Smash The boss will turn around and swipe his sword, pushing back all players in front of him. Afterwards, a clone of the boss will appear behind the boss, smashing whoever is in front of him. When you see him turn around to do a quick slash, move away to avoid damage and knockback from the clone. Before 55 HP line mechanic, this attack is just a simple turn into a slash. After the 55 HP line mechanic, it is modified where a clone comes from behind the boss to smash anyone in front of him. Double slash grab. The boss will perform two red slashes in front of him, then lunge forward and attempt to grab anyone in front of him. 
the support should prioritize getting grabbed so that everyone else can freely damage the boss for a brief moment. This attack does decent damage, but you can always use a shield or give yourself damage reduction before getting grabbed. Charging Grab The boss will have a bright red aura around his sword and stand still for a brief moment to charge up an attack. He will target a random player. Move away to not get grabbed. Support should get caught by this attack so that everyone else can freely damage the boss for a brief moment. Dash into Slash The boss will dash forward, then two red telegraphs will be shown. Outside safe then inside safe. After the two red telegraphs, the boss will charge up his sword and do a large slash on the left or right side. If hit by this slash, it does a ton of damage and could potentially knock you off the map if this happens after the 55 HP line mechanic. To tell where the safe spot is, pay attention to his sword. If his sword is on the left side, the safe spot will be on the right side. You can also instinctively react by saving your spacebar and going to the safe spot right when the telegraph is shown. Teleport then smash. The boss will stand still and target a random player. He will charge up his sword for a brief moment. Then he will teleport behind that same targeted player and smash the ground three times in total. If this attack happens before the 55 HP line mechanic, he will only smash the ground once. I advise saving your space bar, then when the boss teleports, use it to dodge the attack. 11 Slashes the boss will stand still and a white aura will be shown. Afterwards, the boss will slash his sword in random locations 11 times in total. If the boss is near the edge of the map when this attack occurs and is after the 55 HP line mechanic, you may get knocked off and die. You can utilize time stop here if you're afraid of getting knocked off. You can also utilize awakening or a push immune ability to prevent knockback. You can also just run away. Blue reflect attack. The boss will jump back and raise his sword in the air and twirl it around. A blue aura will surround the boss. You should not damage the boss during this attack. If you do, he will push players back quite a bit which does a lot of damage and could cause you to die by gravity if it's after the 55 HP line mechanic. This reflect attack is similar to vaults in gate 2. Gray circles. The boss will stand still then float in the air. During this attack, you cannot damage the boss. A bunch of swords will fall down on the ground, noted by gray telegraphs. Some of them will be small, and some of them will be really big. Your only job is to dodge. Supports may awaken here in case some members get hit by this because it does do a lot of damage. Spinning counter. The boss will turn blue and ready his sword. This is the cue to counter. If you fail this counter, he will spin rapidly while following a random member. This spin attack does a lot of damage, so it's best to stay away. Blue stagger check. The boss will jump back and spin his sword in front of him with the stagger bar shown below the boss. You cannot stagger in front of him where the blue shield is, otherwise that damage will reflect back and most likely kill you. Think of Clown Gate 1 Stagger Check. When you finish the stagger check, you only have a brief moment to do damage because after the stagger check, he will follow up with a twirl attack that will knock players up. If he is close to the edge, it is essential that you stay away after the stagger check is completed, otherwise you may get knocked off and die. And that will conclude my guide for Kyangle Gate 1. I did not include every attack pattern, only the ones I thought were important. Kyangle in general is quite an easy raid in my opinion. Most of the deaths in Gate 1 will be due to getting knocked off the map, like with Vault in Gate 2. I will leave a link in the description of this video that includes a written guide for Kyangle Gate 1. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more guides in the future, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will try to finish Gate 2 and Gate 3 as soon as I can. If you want to see me live, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash deathboy523. I live stream nearly every day. With all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful time raiding in Lost Ark. Peace.